so we are going for the third problem for a static force analysis where we are discussing the principle of superposition now what is the principle of superposition principle of superposition is used when more than one forces or more than one input are there and we want to determine something like an output so what is here in this particular problem we are having four link four bar mechanism in which there are two forces f2 and f3 are acting on different links and we are supposed to determine what should be the value of torque on link a b so that it can make the four bar mechanism in static equilibrium so the given dimensions are as shown in the figure the link length are also given the direction of the forces f2 f3 link length of ab bc dc ad and angle bad that is this angle is also given as 60 degree so as we do in the earlier problems we'll make first the configuration diagram of the four bar mechanism taking suitable scale we make the diagram and with appropriate angles as given in the figure now we'll go to determine the principle of superposition as per the principle of superposition what we are supposed to do suppose we are supposed we are we should we are required to get the value of torque total torque then to get the total torque what we will do first we'll assume one of the force f2 is acting and f3 is zero then we'll say f3 f f f2 is acting and f3 is zero then f2 is zero and f3 um, is acting we'll find the net effect by adding all the torque because of either f2 or f3 then joining them adding them algebraically so the, it is basically what we are doing earlier we are we are supposed to do it in two steps so if there are two forces we have we are supposed to do it in two steps if there is one more force three forces then we require three steps so that is what so we have to divide this problem in two parts so first one is we are calculating the value of torque that is torque ta is nothing but value of torque when only f2 is acting and f3 is assumed to be zero now first of all again determine what are what kind of four system there are so we'll make the fvds fvd of link number four there are two force it is two force member f12 and f34 and as per the condition of equilibrium under 24 4 should be equal and opposite that means they will be acting along the line of action we have shown with the dotted line similarly link number three is going to be two force member so force will be acting f23 and f43 that is with the same uh, nomenclature that is force at link number three because of four force at link number three because of two now it is interesting to see that f43 is going to be equal to f34 but the directions are shown one is along link number three and one is along the link number four so this is possible only if these force this force will be zero that's why f43 as well as f34 is going to be zero and it is basically simplifying our solution f34 is zero that means f14 is zero f43 is zero that means f23 is zero and f23 is zero that means on the link number two when we are having f32 that will also become zero so our problem remains only of link number two where we are having a externally implemented force f2 and a force at two because of one so it is making a two force one torque system for link number two and all the link number three and link number four is ultimately carrying zero force so to analyze link number two we'll assume that f2 is there so f12 is going to be equal parallel and opposite to f12 that is it is going to be like this so f12 and f2 will make a couple will extend it drop the perpendicular get the perpendicular distance then determine the value of t t is going to be f2 into h h is the perpendicular distance between the line of action of two forces now value of uh, t a this is t a basically for this particular part is going to be f2 into h and this is going to be calculated that is going to be 6 kilo newton meter for the particular case if we we'll try to see the direction of rotation the direction of rotation of the couple is anti-clockwise so value of torque is going to be clockwise so ta is 6 kilonewton meter clockwise 
now we will take up the second part of the question where we assume that f where we assume that f3 is acting and f2 is zero so the fvds are going to be like this if you'll see the link num, link number two it is two force one torque system force is force at two because of one force at two because of three link number three is going to be three force system that is one is externally implemented force one is force at two because of three one is force at three because of four so what you'll see it is going to be three force system so as usual we are supposed to determine its line of action so to determine the line of action we have to proceed again for the link number four link number four if you'll see the fvd it is going to be two force member so direction is going to be along the link f3 4 that is force at 4 because of 3 force at 4 because of 1 and it is going to be along the link orientation of the link so we know the direction of f3 on link number 3 we know the direction of f4 3 that is going to be opposite to f3 4 and once we know it we'll extend this we'll extend this parallel to this and we, it, it will meet here and it is again making a, it is making a concurrent force system two of the forces are passing through this point so the line of action of f23 will also pass through the same point so we'll get line of action of f23 line of action of f43 and f3 now out of it we'll make the vector triangle that is like this so the given force is drawn first which is known in direction and magnitude we'll draw f3 then we'll draw a line parallel to f43 here We'll draw a line parallel to F23 here. Once we'll draw these lines, we'll make it a closed triangle. So arrowhead for this is like this. So arrowhead for this is going to be like this. And arrowhead for this is going to be like this so that it will make a closed triangle. By measuring, scaling and proper dimensioning, we can determine the value of F43 and F23. That is that are going to be 50 kN and F23 is going to be 113 kN. Once we'll obtain this, that means we have got obtained the value of F23. After getting the value of F23, we can determine what is going to be value of F32 because it is going to be exactly opposite to this as per Newton's third law. And F32 that means F32 is F23 is acting like this. F23 is acting like this. So F3 f32 is going to act like this opposite to f23 and f12 is going to be opposite to f32 that is going to be like this making a couple and this is going to be torque at b opposing the rotation the rotation was here now you see it is clockwise so tb will be anti clockwise value of tb to determine we have to determine the perpendicular distance h here we'll measure it by drawing and finally we will calculate tb is going to be f12 or f32 multiply by this h that will come 113 into 0.16 ultimately it is going to be 18.1 kilo newton meter counter clockwise now to determine the total torque we are we are supposed to implement principle of superposition that is here T is going to be TA plus TB. Now one of the direction we have taken clockwise as negative and counterclockwise is positive. So minus 6 plus 18.1 it will give us 12.1 Newton meter that is 12.1 Newton meter counterclockwise. So this is how we can implement the principle of superposition. It can be extended if more number of forces are given. So this is how this 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 is a very simple method to find out the any unknown if number of known and any any unknown if number of knowns are more than two. So this is simple principle of addition known as principle of superposition. Um, we will be taking up next problem on different topics. <laughs> Thank you.